Hey everyone, John from Trophy Tackle. I want to talk to you today about circle hooks for shark fishing. New York State Legislature passed a law that requires fishermen that are fishing in New York State waters to use circle hooks for sharking. In addition, if you are fishing a tournament in New York State waters, you are, it is mandatory that you fish a circle hook at the beginning, at the end, and all during the tournament so that when you land the fish, the fish does have a circle hook in its mouth or somewhere in its body. Um, circle hooks for shark fishing is no different than using a circle hook as you would for striped bass, bluefish, or tuna fish. It just takes a little different technique than what most of us in the Northeast here have been used to using for sharks with the old J hook. Three different styles of circle hooks I have here, or as a second hook, possibly like in a bluefish, towards the tail. The second hook is the Eagle Claw L2045G. This one happens to be in 20 aught. And again, it's a very nice hook, light wire, super strong, tempered, um, black alloy finish. We like the, this hook a lot since it's such a small, lightweight hook. And again, you can use this in many different applications when you're rigging your baits. And last but not least is the old granddaddy of circle hooks for shark fishing and for tuna fishing. This is the Mustad 39960D in 20 aught as well. Much thicker wire than compared to the Eagle Claw. Uh, much bigger hook compared to the Eagle Claw. And probably an indestructible hook uh, that you will have for many, many years uh, if you want to get it out of the fish after you um, hook the fish. The key to using circle hooks is understanding how the hook actually operates. And that has to do with the hangnail. The hangnail is what is going to allow the hook to turn into the fish's jaw. So non-offset circle hooks are required since the hangnail is not exposed on an offset. So thereby when the hook goes into the fish's mouth, the hangnail can't catch somewhere down in the lower fish's abdomen and turn and get set there. Instead, the hook is smooth on the outside and the hook can pull through the fish's body. And then once the fish begins to turn laterally, the hangnail is gonna get caught and the hook will actually rotate right through the fish's jaw. And if you fish it correctly, you'll get the hook in the corner of the jaw of the fish's mouth every single time. The proper way to fish the hook is to not set the hook. The, ideally, what you wanna do is you wanna have your lever drag reel. And here we have just a Penn International 50 VSX. And what we like to do is we don't want to have the reel set on the clicker just so we just have clicker, but we want to have strip drag. And strip drag is where the line can pull out fairly easily. It's about six pounds of pressure so that when the fish does hit, the fish is going to be able to run with the hook somewhere in its mouth. And then as the fish begins to run, and hopefully it will make a turn left or right, which it always inevitably does, and then the hook will begin to travel from the back of the fish towards the front. And then the hangnail is gonna catch somewhere in the corner of the jaw and do its job. So again, not setting the hook and allowing the fish to take a very, very long run initially is gonna get you a perfect hook set in the jaw of the mouth every time. As a result of using circle hooks, we can fish much differently than we used to in the past for sharks. This is a very modern setup that we've been using at Trophy Tackle for many, many years. And this is a short wire. This is about five feet of 240 pound wire, wired up to a 20 o eagle claw hook, attached to a 600 pound Roscoe swivel, and then professionally crimped to a 300 pound wind on extra hard mono leader made by Basil from BHP Tackle. What this allows us to do is to fish without a wire man now. As you can see, at the end of the leader, we have a loop. And the loop is going to attach to the loop in our reel. Okay, so we have a loop here, and we'll, we'll just do a simple loop-to-loop -loop connection. And what, that, what I, that allows us to do is to wind the leader directly onto the reel, eliminating the wire man. So if you're fishing short-handed, if you're fishing with an inexperienced crew, this is a superior way than fishing the way we used to with seven feet of cable to five or six feet of 240 pound wire. Again, the circle hook allows you to fish this short mono, uh, this, this short mono and wire connection because this mono is not ordinary mono, it's extra hard mono. It can take tremendous abrasion resistance. It was designed for fishing for marlin. It is the premier leader when people are marlin fishing with lures or with dead baits. Um, I've used this system going on about 15 years now with circle hooks. 
And, you know, I've placed uh, three times in the Hudson Anglers Tournament. I've won the Hudson Angler to Calcutta three times. And um, I think it's the best way to shark fish. So um, if you have any questions, be sure to come down to the shop. We have been proponents of the circle hook rule for many, many years for shark fishing. We are really happy to see New York State step up to the plate and adopt this regulation. And again, Trophy Tackle is the place to come if you want to get dialed in on how to fish circle hooks for sharks. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.